Welcome to the journey 2020. I'm Charles Morse. Last I checked, at least that's what my mama named me. Because just recently I was in Jacksonville for my aunt's 75th birthday and I saw my uncle who I had not seen in a long time and he's the uncle that I was named after. You know, I never asked my mom about that. Like, how did you pick my uncle? And for me to be named after him, I know I, I know nothing about that story. Not that I'm complaining, but um, I, that's a good question to ask, except my mother's not here. And so I don't know if there's anybody that I can ask that can answer that question. Maybe I can ask my Uncle Charles. <laughs> anyway, I'm Charles Morris, and this is Journey 2020. Going to be here for a very short time today. My original guest, uh, because we was having some difficulties uh, connecting, we decided to put it back for the date. And I need you to pay attention because I'm only gonna be here for a short time. So I need you to make a comment and to also email me for questions and comments as well. So before I ask for your comments below, um, I wanna say this is The Journey 2020. We come to you every Monday at 7 p.m. We're on www.thejourney2020.com. We're on uh, Twitter, we're on Periscope. Um, it's, it's, no, I don't think Periscope is around anymore. Uh, we're on Facebook and we're on YouTube. So we ask that you please subscribe to the YouTube channel and please like us on Facebook. We are, would appreciate that. So there are so many things that I wish that, I, I mean, I know that I can talk about, but the original show today was supposed to be with our friend Malika Harris. And artists are cool, you know, um, and there are so many forms of art and people and their unique talent. And sometimes people are so uniquely talented, and I'm not speaking in anybody in, in general, I'm just saying what I have observed about people who have these gifts. Sometimes they share them, sometimes they don't. And sometimes in our gifts, we don't expand them and really tap into them um, for different reasons, uh, so many different reasons. Uh, I can share, um, well, let me share this with you. Uh, this is something personal. So this, I wasn't even going to share this until now, but just to show you, um, wow, well, see, I feel funny saying this because this was not supposed to be part of the show, but oh, okay. When I was 10 years old, a uh, gentleman, one of my classmates, his name was Calvin and Calvin used to draw these little muscle men. So as a little 10 year old, I started copying him. And um, we were drawing these men. So I found out that my men looked just like his. He was these muscle mound men and da da da. So I was very surprised that, you know, at a very short time, I could copy his drawings. Not that I was copying his drawing, but he, I would see what he was drawing. And so we had these little comp, not really competitions. We just decided that we wanted to draw these little muscle men. And they always looked the same. One looked just like the other, and we would draw them over and over again. So one day I'm in the dining room and I was there drawing my little muscle man and I finished and I turned around and I gave it to my aunt. And I said, Aunt Lula, I said, here, I say, here, take a look at my muscle man. And she go, oh, I see that little ugly man. And I never drew another one. And but the reason why I tell the story is because over the years and just recently, I shared some of my drawings um, when I was in uh, over my grandmother's. I had a room to myself and over there I had comic books and stuff like that. So I had an Archie comic book, uh, a Billy Bailey comic book. I had a Dick Tracy comic book. I had a quick draw, McDraw with Bubba Louie. And so I just took out some pen and paper and I just drew what was in the comic books. And I showed them recently, like a month ago, and I still had those. This was like when I was like 10, 11 years old. And they look just like the comic book. But I never tapped into that because for whatever reason, no one was around to say, here, do this. So that experience, and I say that because I don't necessarily fault my aunt for saying, yeah, I see that little ugly man. I just knew that at that moment, at that time, when that happened, I just never picked up um, the drawing to draw again. So uh, we talk about that all the time, about how 
uh, sometimes people don't nourish and kind of guide kids into things in which could have made a difference. So I, I didn't plan on talking about that for today's show, but I wanted, I wanted to share that. And so with that being said, um, today on the show, we were supposed to have Malika Harris, but unfortunately she couldn't get her computer working the way that we wanted it to and the challenges that we face. But she is starting this thing that I call Chill Mondays. And Chill Mondays is we're having artists on and you may know somebody that's an artist, whether or not they draw or whether or not they sing. Um, so I ask that you email me, let me know, and we want to talk with them and let them share their talent with us and the world. Because we would like to know, like, where did that song come from? Where did that poem come from? Where did that drawing come from? What inspired you? Or who inspired you? What keeps you inspired? So, as you know, if artists who, no matter what, whether or not they draw, whether or not they write, whether or not they sing, they have stuff that's kind of like hidden away. Stuff that they did years ago and it keeps piling up, piling up, and it goes nowhere. So if you don't have someone, uh, uh, if they don't have someone in their lives to kind of tap them and say, hey, you know, because they don't, some of them don't even think twice about it. They just write and they just put it up. They write for themselves. And, and some of the times when you see and hear some of their, their music and their lyrics and their poems and their paintings, you'd be so in awe and be like, wow, look at that. And they're looking at you like, what? And you'd be like, you don't see how magnificent that is? And they're looking at you like, huh? It's just something that I do. So I don't know if I would have been a good artist drawing or stuff like that, but it wasn't hard. I just it was just never tapped into when I was a kid. And I just picked up the, the, the pencil and the paper and I said to myself, if I see it, I should be able to draw it. I should be able to duplicate what I see. And I just recently, about two weeks ago, I showed someone the drawings and it was like, you, you want to hear something funny? I had a drawing of Bubba Louie. Anybody who ever watched Quick Draw McDraw know who Bubba Louie is. And they said, because they really didn't know and they Google Quick Draw and Bubba Louie. And they said, oh, they look just like Bubba Louie. I was like, <laughs> so that's funny to me. So this is a short um, show today. And also, please note, um, please be careful. Oh, by the way, I hope that you had a great 4th of July. Um, because it was on a Sunday, I know there's some people who was actually off today because uh, the 4th was on a Sunday. And I know that we love our fireworks, I know. I mean, we love our boom, boom, sparks, colors, loud sounds, blowing things up. That's just what we love. That's what we love to do. So I hope that everyone was safe. No one blew any fingers off because that happens every fourth uh, in the New Year. Somebody blows something up, off, not up, off. <laughs> and so I'm saying this to say that I hope that everyone had a safe fourth. I actually went usually go fishing, but that's a whole other story. I did go fishing locally. I look, usually I'm over in Daytona, right there by the Main Street Bridge, and watch the fireworks off of the pier. That's another story. But um, again, I hope everyone had a safe um, fourth. The other thing, please be careful. Please continue to wear your mask. If you do your research, if you see what's going on, the virus. Uh, there's another virus in addition to the one, the, the COVID-19, that um, they're looking for it to be more dominant here, prominent. Uh, I think it's over more so in India. And the people who are actually, actually vaccinated are still getting sick. So we're not out of this thing yet. So I'm just I'm not trying to say anything negative. I'm just trying to say use common sense because we're very hard-headed and we're very stubborn. We don't use common sense a lot of times. So continue to wear your mask. Continue to 
uh, abide by the proper distancing and just use some common sense. One of the other things, this is a very short show today. One of the other things too is I have a friend that I'm very close to uh, as we go through this week or so for those who are uh, dealing with what happened down south, you know, with the condo collapsing and they just um, did a control um, collapse as they blew up the other side, but it was a control thing so they can do what need to be done. Um, I think there's still over a hundred people missing. But I wanted to do a show on that because I have someone that I'm very close to who's knowledgeable. So if you know someone who may be in a condo situation like that and you would like to ask questions, or if you have questions and if there's things that have not been answered, I have the person that will be able to answer all of your questions uh, that I think that is a very, very important. So they said, just send her the questions ahead of time. And so if you do have questions, about what happened um, and you may know someone or you may yourself be in a situation something similar and you have questions that you would like to have answered I you can email me and I will email those questions ahead of time to make sure that we cover those questions so they'll be answered for you so we we'll have a real in-depth conversation and find out some things and why this why that talk about code um, because she said a few things to me that was very important because she said when people come around and they tell you stuff it's kind of like let me see how can I say this she said it she said you know sometimes when the doctor's talking to you and you don't necessarily listen and things happen like you catch a cold or you don't follow directions and so with something where something where you could have been cured and not feeling so bad, but because you didn't listen, whatever was ailing you is now worse. Because she said, that's kind of like what I deal with sometimes because people don't want to listen to what's being said because they don't look at it that way. And so, and I think everything goes back to money. And because it wasn't taken care of and it started to build up, this is just me speaking now as I'm starting to understand as um, she was giving me information. And as it starts to build up, it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And you never would think you would just be laying in your bed and the building just goes boom. It just didn't happen overnight. It took some time, especially here on you dealing with the salt air, being in, near salt water and, 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 and and, and, and I'll ask, I'll ask uh, about that as well, dealing with the salt air and how does that affect, you know, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother way, that's a whole nother page of salt water versus fresh water or living near salt water. You know, so anybody who, who drives a car lives, lives in Florida. The people who, who are not from here, but anybody who drives a car and lives in the salt water will tell you how easily and quickly it, it rusts versus being in the city away from the salt water. So it's those little things like that. So again, I had my email up for a while, but, but if you have questions that you would like to have answered, you can do that by sending me questions that will be on shortly. Again, um, Malika. Uh, Harris will be coming on the show, which kicking off Chill Mondays. And for those who don't know her, she did a great tribute to uh, Phyllis Hyman. Um, I can't say enough about how um, great that show was. And uh, I, I, I've been trying to find it. Well, actually, I actually I do have it, but I wanted to talk about it. Or uh, we're going to talk about her and her tribute to uh, Phyllis Hyman, um, something that she did, you know, a while back. Um, in a way, this is 
the journey 2020 where we come to you every uh, Monday at 7 p.m. Very short show today. We were going to have uh, Malika Harris on today as we kick off Chill Mondays. And um, she's going to share with us. She got a great a few projects uh, that's coming out. And she was going to share some of her songs and what inspired them. Also, Mother Earth. Um, she's going to talk about the things that, you know, because she has written books. Uh, she goes into the prison system. She talked to the ladies. She tried to inspire. So she, I've had her on the show several times before. So we're going to talk about all of that and more. And I can't wait to have my guests on to talk about and give us the insight on what may have happened, uh, what may cause a, a building to just fall. Um, it, it just didn't happen. Okay, so if you have questions or comments for her uh, once she comes on, we want to make sure that we get those questions to her and I will let you know when that show is going to be. Um, like I said, you may know somebody, um, you may be in an environment like that and, and you have questions. Don't know if who you know uh, in your environment will be honest with you, but that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to be honest. So with that being said, there's a lot more that we can talk about. We could talk about the 4th of July and the fact that we're supposed to be celebrating Independence Day. But as we see, as we go into the year 2021, we're far from being independent and have rights and people trying to take away everything, your voting rights and so on and so forth. That's a whole nother show. So again, I hope you had a safe 4th of July looking for your questions and your comments can't wait to share with you chill mondays again be careful uh, continue to wear your mask please do so and use some common sense for questions and comments again i am charles morris and you can always hit us up with an email at the journey 2020 at gmail.com okay everybody short show today we will be back uh sometime soon with the chill monday we got some other people coming on i have uh, miss brown coming on miss brown is going to talk about working with miss angela adams for those who uh in this area know miss angela adams for the black men health summit that she did for 20 years I was part of 19 of the 20 years, and we were on Angela. Angela, you got to start up that Black Men's Health Summit again, and the virus came around. So she's going to kick that off as well. But what Angela has going on is that, and for those who have grandmothers and elderly, like the aunts and, and uncles and grandfathers and so on, um, we're going to talk about um, medicines, the importance of not mixing them, the importance of knowing what what goes what does what goes with what what does not go with this, being aware of how timely you should be with your medicine. All those things are coming up. We're going to talk about that here on the journey 2020. We're going to bring that to you. So that's something that's going to be offered. And if you would like to find out more information, we're going to uh, have that for you as well. That's coming up here on The Journey 2020. Again, I'm Charles Morris. Please enjoy the rest of your week. Everybody, you be blessed. Oh.